In the last episode of Girls Band Cry, we were introduced to our two new band members, or more like we're gonna combine the two band slash musical group together. Anyways, the two new characters are Rupa and Tomo, although we've kind of been seeing them. They've been working at Yoshinoya, and it seems like we're going to participate in a concert where Diamond Dust will be, so we'll just have to see the, how these two groups interact with one another. Full links are on Patreon, full links are on Patreon, and early access in the YouTube memberships. Other than that, let us get started. <laughs> what the fuck are these? Oh, okay, you guys are selling this, but then your name is temporary. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, you might as well just fucking start a live stream and be like, hey, donate to us if you enjoy our music. <laughs> These will be worth our fortune because they're like before the band name forms. <laughs> Damn, dude. Damn, dude, she's got a whole, yeah, she's got a whole fucking fan club. She was looking at her phone and smiling. That distracted Nina. It might just be these earphones, but I cannot hear the bass. I'm like, I hear everything but the bass. <laughs> that piano is very prominent, though. I very enjoy. I very much enjoy that. Giving it a name. Oh, all right. Suwa and Nagano. Oh my god. <laughs> Has her studies. Yeah, might as well. That's right. <laughs> uh, if Rupa says it. Might as well just go to a band generator website. I am going to court. <laughs> We do see, uh, the, I remember seeing, like, the, the, the little gecko and a s snake sticker. Haven't seen the snack yet. <laughs> Where's the lizard? The gecko? Yeah. <gasps> What's with... <laughs> Which was your idea? <laughs> Yeah, I got no time for drama out here. Hey, yeah. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Your ideas all at once. <laughs> if Rupa says it. <laughs> What? <laughs> All I see was dream girls. It chalet. <laughs> Disgustingly sugary. Undine. Ah. Undine? Way cringy. Dream girls? Dream girl. <laughs> <laughs> Decided on a name yet. <laughs> oh, at this point, you might as well just name your band after your favorite song. Oh. Uh oh. Is that her sister? Susan, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Damn, how long you been waiting? Maybe. <laughs> a bando. Hi. <laughs> yeah. Just a shirt that says drop out, isn't it? <laughs> ah! 
going to call when your grades drop and you skip- Wow! Thank me for stopping Dad from coming. The score, the ban. <gasps> I'm cutting ties with the family. Mm-hmm. His own daughter wanted to drop a model teacher. I believe that he heard. Who would have thought? Uh, hold on. A model teacher. So he who wrote a book like that. So the book that she tossed on the ground. 100 things you need to know to raise a child. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> you know what? If that's part of the book that wh whoever, if, if he wrote it or whatever. You're right. Maybe one of the things is probably don't smoke in the same fucking room as your child. Don't smoke indoor. <laughs> don't fucking give them secondhand smoke. Mm. She's a centrist, I see. <laughs> what? <laughs> Sorry, this over his pot. If we'd had been willing to overlook the bullying, the school would have owed us? That's, you know what? That's some lawyer shit right there. <laughs> With your grade state, I've given you a recommendation. Hmm. Get into college yourself. Two and cut ties. <gasps> oh my god. Oh. oh no. And you're driving a manual? Do you even know how to drive a manual? Oh, and those paper of changing drivers. Oh, Rufa's on the road. <laughs> Maybe if it was a automatic, sure, but... <laughs> Damn, dude, when the bus is driving faster than you? Car sick? <laughs> R.I.P. Oh, just a bunch of high schoolers out here. I mean, hopefully that's just water, right? <laughs> oh, Tomo-chan. Oh, she? She dropped out of school too? Wow, just got two dropouts. <laughs> Might as well do it sooner than later. <laughs> Better things to do with my time than go to school. Oh my god. This anime, it's anti-school. <laughs> oh, a little selfie. Ah, sleeping in the car. Oh. In what world? <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> I won't say you're amazing. Better heart than skill. Wow, that's an old sticker right there. Oh, what? Nine. <laughs> she was so different back then. Incredibly rock. Your last concert. Always on the brink, dude. 
Grateful that you were so serious. <laughs> Although I assume she just doesn't have the galls to fucking see uh, Diamond Dust at the music festival. Fucking dead. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. When you have the results, you know, it's really hard. It's hard to argue with the results. Of course. If you love it enough. What a grin. Oh my god. <laughs> She's like, I'm out of here. <laughs> Just a fucking drunk person. <laughs> oh. Well, take her back to the car. Where else? <laughs> I'm out of here. She's going to the lake? Ah, she's just gotta yell at the lake. <gasps> wow! What a perfect timing, Nina! My god! Must be for the other side, because there's nobody here. <laughs> it doesn't make a difference at this point. She's figured out a name! Oh my god, I swear if she just... <laughs> what a coincidence, dude! Wow! <laughs> Enough about you, alright. No more monologuing. I swear, I do not hear the bass <laughs> in this in this episode at all. I am I am deaf to the bass, dude. <laughs> Momaka-san. Yeah, yeah, fellow dropout. Oh shit! Oh shit! Ah ah! Previews. Ah, help! I'm at, I, I, okay. All right. All right, well, fellow dropout. Actually, no, I can't say that. I graduated from school, so <laughs> I have a diploma. <laughs> but, of but with uh, Tomo, right? Fellow dropout, those two. <laughs> Might as well pursue in music instead of something that, you know, you you're not particularly invested in. But all right. We're gonna right back to the center. All right, so that was episode seven of Girls Band Cry. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments down below. You know that I always like talking to you guys. For me, I think that it was a pretty good episode, I think. But I'll be honest with you, I feel like I don't really have too much to talk about this episode in terms of like what I want to talk about. You know, and I, I, I feel like I, I've been kind of feeling this way for the past two episodes where I'm just like, mm, you know, I, I enjoy it. It's it's nice, but like I've kind of just not to say lost interest in, in, in wanting to like discuss it. But it's just I uh, again, I just don't know what I wanted to talk about. <laughs> I would presume that name that Nina said towards the end is probably not the final band name just yet. 
I would presume, because, like, with that, that'd be freaking great if, like, she just took the name and it's just from somebody's shirt. And it's just like, okay, cool, I guess. Like, that's just how that's going to be. Who knows? But uh, we did have, like, this whole point when uh, Susan A comes to visit Nina. She bought her, like, a whole box of donuts, I guess? <laughs> How many, I, mean, I I would assume there's probably like six donuts in there or four donuts. Goddamn, dude, that's still, I feel like that's still a lot of donuts for one person. Anyways, uh, Susan A came in to basically tell Nina about like, hey, so school called, they said that you've been uh, not going to, y y y your, your grades are dropping, you're not going to classes. Uh, who would have thought, you know, she's just been more in engaged with the music than she is in studying, even before she fully... Uh, it, it enveloped herself into music. She was struggling to, uh, she was struggling to study. <laughs> it just wasn't something that she wanted to do. And like, you know, she, she kind of did it a, a little bit with like a, 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 out of spite, but unfortunately for her, the spite was just not strong enough. But now, hey, she has a whole different source of spite. <laughs> <laughs> so, and that and that one is like a whole lot stronger than like having to fucking study and and get good grades and whatnot. This kind of gets Nina to figure out what she wants to do, right? Because I believe Susan A basically was just like, "What do you What do you want to do?" And Nina's like, "I'm gonna cut ties." And Susan A is just like, "Well, if you cut ties, then like I can't back you up anymore because <laughs> you're cutting ties with the whole family." This gets Nina to ask Tomo about why she dropped out of uh, school since she's the only other person who dropped out of school and Nina's thinking about it. And Tomo gives us a little bit of her backstory where she was basically, uh, her parents were never around and at some point it was just a, a waste of time going to school instead of just focusing on what she wants to do instead. <laughs> and I, I was joking about how like, oh man, dude, this this anime is so anti-school, but <laughs> it's 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 really more of a like go out and, 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 and do your dreams and like I I personally think, right, that if you are the type of person who is able to self-learn and self-study, you don't particularly need school. You don't particularly need to go to college because uh, because if you're able to self-learn and self-study perfectly, <laughs> not even perfect, maybe like 90%, you know, 80%. And like you're able to just, there, there, you can learn so many things just off of YouTube, off of the internet. There are so many types of lessons and classes that you can take for free instead of going to, uh, instead of going to college. Although I would assume Japan, you don't have to pay to go to college, but maybe that I, I would pursue. But going back to my point about if you're able to self-learn, self-study, right? You're able to, you, you thrive in an environment where you don't have to be in a classroom, then like, you know, uh, you do you. Uh, I, I, I don't really, I, I'm not very against people who don't want to go to school, especially like here in America, you know, like uh, if you want to, if you want to go to college or something, like do you want to rack up student debt? Like that's, that truly is the question. If you want to go to fucking college <laughs> and like th th there's so many freaking uh, unfortunate things about like going to college and like you want to go into a career and like you end up spending four years, six years, eight years or whatever. And then the, the problem problem is that when you first get into the college, the job market for what you wanted to do was probably booming, but then four years past, the job market that you've been wanting to go into dies down because nobody's looking for that anymore four years later. And so you kind of come out with a degree and you're just like, what the fuck do I do with this, right? <laughs> and especially when it comes to music, right? anything uh, creative, I feel, you can basically gain experience and do that all by yourself. You don't have to go to art school. You don't have to go to music school, go to music lessons. Uh, but I, kind of like what I said in the last episode, there is uh, Nina for sure would probably need to take at the very least some vocal lessons on how to not strain her voice all the fucking time so she can sing for a longer period of time. Just want to note that I'm not a person who can self-learn and self-study. I I hate 
taking online classes because like that's just not for me I, I i get way too fucking distracted doing everything but the studying or but the uh learning that they're they're, they're making you do on the online classes, I have to be in class and I have to be like involved in like uh, in the in the classes, in the lessons, and everything. Uh, I'm I am much more of a um, uh, a visual and a hands-on type of person when it comes to uh, when it comes to studying and, and all that. So <laughs> I it's an unfortunate thing where like I I, I currently have like this problem where. I feel like I don't want to go out and I don't want to like interact with other people but then at the same time I need to be in a class setting in order to learn uh, the things that I want to learn kind of like uh, with languages. I learn languages a lot better when I'm actually in class than I do if I were to learn it by myself. I, I just do not have the capability to, to, to do it on my own. <laughs> Bundy and Nina came to the conclusion, right, she's decided she's gonna drop out of the school, she's gonna continue on with music, and she she says that while looking at uh, Momoka, and then we also got Subaru, who just fucking facepalm, right, <laughs> oh, we, we got a little twitch from Momoka, uh, the little uh, brow twitch when she heard that, yeah, that's a, uh, ooh, <laughs> and then Subaru's just in the back, ay -ya! <laughs> so fucking good and she says that in front of like an entire crowd which dude if i heard somebody just say that at a concert is just like a, a like a 17 year old or something i'm dropping out of school i'm like should i be cheering for that or like should i boo like what what am i what am i supposed to do <laughs> so the other point is that momika has decided that she's gonna go and quit uh kind of uh it, it also makes no, when, when she was interacting with the other woman, whose name I currently don't remember, but she's from the band Mine, she uh, she has, like, a much more cheery attitude, and Nina was asking, like, whoa, why is she like that? And I think it was either Lupa or Subaru who said, oh, must be, this is how she used to be. <laughs> Before the depression hit in, you know? <laughs> but... It, it was just, it, it is a, it was an interesting attitude where she feels like a little bit happier because she knows that all right I finally come to the conclusion I finally come to my own decision right that I'm going to uh, I'm going to quit this band and finally move on with my life instead of having to continuously be hurt over and over it's kind of the same way as like Nina Nina running to the lake and just yelling I've decided you know I've decided I'm gonna drop out of school it's like that moment of happiness of like I finally know what I want to do and uh, again, it's that pleasure of dropping something that you feel like have been holding you back for a very long time. And uh, I, I, I don't know why, but I can't help but to like want to make a morbid comparison. But I'm probably gonna not make that comparison. <laughs> maybe just, maybe not. Yeah, let's, let's not do it. <laughs> But again, I think that conversation that Nina had with this lady in red gave her a lot of insight. And again, with what she was talking about with Tomo, it's that feeling of like, yeah, I, I get scared to the point where I can't eat or I can't sleep sometimes. It's it, it feels suffocating. But in the end, I love my job. I love, you know, I have a lot of passion for this and it's 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 what I want to do. Right. There's a lot of hardship. But in the end, your your love and your passion is what pushes you through all of this uh all of this hardship and i suppose for momoka she has she she the i, I would say she, i mean as they mentioned before right she loves music right and, and and then the whole thing of like when she plays music she gets really into it and then afterwards she just goes back to feeling sad and so for momoka there's like such a high barrier that like her love for music is not allowing her to push through or jump over really depends on what sort of barrier it is <laughs> but like her love is just not enough for it eh? maybe she has the love for it but she just doesn't have the passion for it who knows right but it's still there but it's not strong enough uh when compared to her fears and 
I would, again, I would presume, oh my god, it's just like, yeah, I'm not gonna go to that music festival to go see Diamond Dust. <laughs> no thanks, I'm gonna quit. See you later. <laughs> At this point, they might as well just name the band Quitters, because, like, I swear, the two main people in the band just keeps wanting to quit. <laughs> Damn, dude, I just realized this bus that passed by them. That's like the bus with the high schoolers. Damn, dude, this bus driver is just driving either. Well, actually, no, it's either they're driving at the right speed or Rupa is not driving at the right speed. <laughs> it's either one or again, you know, Rupa is it's she they say she's a good driver. So like, I would assume she's probably driving at the speed limit. And then this fucking bus is just like, ah, I'm fucking pedal. Pedal to the metal, let's go! <laughs> anyone would start thinking about it if they found themselves without anyone to rely on. Thinking uh, a plan far ahead, okay? When Rupa lost her family in an accident, she also made these kind of plans, and then that's kind of like what brought you two together. So I haven't made any plans at all. And then and then they get the, the whole selfie stuff. Okay. And then I suppose, you know, now that Nina is just kind of like, well, I don't really have any money to rely on if I'm gonna drop, I'm, I'm gonna cut connections with my family. I will say, Girls Band Cry started off strong for me, but now it's kind of teetering off a little bit. Just currently how I feel about it, but we'll just have to see, you know, how, how they continue on with the second half and everything. Uh, but also, I am kind of fucking sick and tired of Moaka at this point. <laughs> I, 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 you know, but again, like, I'm, I, I'm over here, like, trying to, like, look, I, I understand why she is the way that she is, right? And so, like, and, 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 you know, Nina is now just trying to go back to how it was in episode one, where she's gonna try and get Momoka to not quit, or at the very least, maybe Nina's just like, yeah, whatever, you fucking quit, bro. <laughs> oh, whatever. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? But for right now, yeah, I, I, I'm a little sick and tired of Momoka. I'm, I'm really, I, I don't really, I, I just don't vibe with her. And I kind of already made that whole thing in the last episode. But, 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 if I have anything else to say, I will write it in the description down below. <laughs> That's it. Bye.